right, Spyro. Now that you've got the orbs, Ripto's demise is only moments away, right? Right? Well, anyway, good luck. He's right through this door. All right, let's get it on, Ripto. Fucking coming for you, bitch. Can help. What? You again? Yep. If you want to test that power crystal, why don't you try it on me? I'll stand still, I promise. Hmm. I like that idea. Dragon, you've just sealed your fate. All right. Fucking bring it, Ripto. So this part here will be. I don't know how long this part will be. I guess it depends on how, on whether or not they made Ripto harder than they or harder than the original, because uh, they definitely made Gulp harder than the original. Um, but we'll see. Now the skill point is to do it without being hit. Obviously, if I I'm not going to worry about it. If I get hit, I get hit. I'm not like who cares. Uh, but the achievement I will go for, which is to use every power up that is dropped. And Laura is using the orbs you collected to store power up energy. Hunter will throw the powered up orbs to you as they become ready. Even as we speak, the professor is experimenting with new forms of power up energy. So you'll soon have abilities that no one has ever seen before. Yeah. So yeah, that's how this fight works is you just dodge Ripto. Now I wouldn't surprise me if I got hit because you know, it's been a while since we played them. Now I don't remember. Okay, so Ripto will also go for the orbs. Uh, the more orbs you get, you need three orbs. Fucking Christ. So, like, if you get three, you get a power-up. If he gets three, he gets a power-up. Or he gets a special ability, too, right? So, like, obviously, he has, like, his little fireballs that are, like, super easy to dodge because he sucks. Uh, and the last orb you collect... Oh, fucking hell. Determines what power-up you get. Now, I think every time he gets a power up he will run to the middle hunter is fucking helping him out like a maniac uh but yeah you just like wail on him basically oh so yeah like blue ones are obviously supercharged red ones are uh come on hunter be a pal red ones are fireballs or super fire uh honestly oh god it's really nice to get, like, I got really lucky with my supercharged one because he was like, fuck. Yeah, you can hit him, it just doesn't do any damage. Oh, God. It just doesn't do any damage without the actual power-up being active. Um, so I need green one. Oh, God. I don't remember what he does for, oh, God. I was gonna say, I thought that's what he did for red, but apparently that's his green one. So to get fucking Christ Hunter, you sucking fucking, you're a traitor. This is exactly what you are. I'm going to let him go and get that one. Because you get more power ups with, um, in the second phase. Like there's three phases to this fight. Like this health bar is like a third of like, no, that's still blue. What was the blue one? The blue one is he just chases me, which is easy enough. Okay. That's another red. Come on, Hunter. I need a green one. Good God, there it is. Got it. All oh, right, fucking it bombs. Wow, I remember the bombs being a lot easier to hit him with than that. That was also very close. But yeah, you can hit him to, uh... Oh, fuck. oh my God, how did he not hit me? Where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go? Fucking Christ. Nope. Good God. So yeah, fireballs, if you get the supercharge and you can line it up properly, that is probably the easiest one to hit him with. Uh, there we go. But fireball is definitely like overall the easiest one to hit, hit him with. Like you can rinse him with the fireball. But yeah, now he does this. 
Uh, same mechanics, identical. Uh, his shots are a little more, I think, yeah, like he'll actually like lead you, but that's not, oh, fuck. Damn it. I think you can steal those from him. Oh God. Uh, but I want to say for this one here, like the, like, cause there's usually like a good power up, like for the first one, it's obviously, ow, fuck. Well, there goes that. Yeah, the fucking bombs in this one fucking rinse him because he doesn't run. Oh, well, he's got that one. You know, it'd be, you know, Hunter's a real prick throughout this game, you know? Now, I don't remember, what does he do? Is it the same as with... Oh, oh God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, you can do that. So that's the fire. See, like, he drops him so fucking far away from me. Like... He's such a fucking prick. Throughout the entire game, too, he's a prick. Because, like, he knows you're like you're looking for the orbs and that, and he'll be like, oh, I found this orb, but, you know, he won't give it to you. You gotta do a thing for him first. Mine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and they still do that as well, where he'll drop sheep for you so that you can get your... Oh, God. Obviously, with, like, the gulp mech, it's actually just, like, he's harder to dodge in the gulp mech, but he's significantly easier to hit in it because it's so big and it doesn't run away. Uh, so, like, as long as you get close enough... Oh, that's different. I think in the original, when the gulp mech blows up, like, a piece of it actually hits uh, Hunter. I don't remember how this works. I think at some point he starts like charging you as well, maybe. But like the green ones actually do heat seek a little bit. Oh yeah, and then he starts doing this. Uh, they're not like the hardest things in the world to dodge, obviously. They really couldn't be, because you have, like you're a lot slower. Got him. Got him, there you go. He's not a hard fight. My only thing, though, is I don't know, like, to get the perfect. I don't know if they're going to let me do like I normally do. Because, like, in the original, every once in a while, I would get a perfect on a first try. Um, but if you don't, especially on Ripto, like, on Gulp, sometimes I would go and try and try and try until I got it. But, you know, whatever. I Generally, I don't think I bothered. But, like, all these bosses now that we have 100% is actually become significantly easier, assuming they let me do like I, I don't normally do. Ever thank you enough, Spyro. I suppose you have to go now? Yeah, I'd better. They'll be missing me in the Dragon Worlds, and I've still got a vacation to take. I need it more than ever now. Before you go, I think that Moneybags has something he wants to give you. Hmm. I most certainly do not. Hunter? Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Spyro, Moneybags is very sorry that he made you pay so much on your way through Avalar. We want you to keep the gems as a reward for helping us. Wow, thanks. Uh, Sparks, can you grab them? Let me just type in the new coordinates and there. Spyro, you can now go to Dragon Shores. Hey, why don't you guys come with me? I bet you could use a holiday. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. We'll be cleaning up for weeks. Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Shores if you want to visit. Well, okay. Come on, Sparks. We got a lot of vacation to catch up on. Yeah. All right. So I'd like to take a minute here because the credits just finished playing. Not that you'll have seen that because I'm gonna cut that out and put it at the end of the video. But I'd just like you to take a minute here and look how much time we've spent right now in this video. Like, what is the time on the video? I don't know for sure. I feel like it's gotta be like eight minutes maybe, maybe nine, maybe 10. Um, because of the credits rolling, 
I'm at half an hour of recording. Well done, Spyro. Step right into Dragon Shores Park. Uh, so yeah, like the credits on this game By are like way, a half hour. Ten tokens, you can visit our theater. Yay. So this here is the super special bonus area at the end of the game. After you beat Ripto, you get to come here. But more importantly, if you have 100 percented the game, you get in here, boosh, infinite super flame. So we're going to have some fun with this. So you talk to this guy here. Right up, Spyro, and take a look at what we've got for you today. Inside this here booth, you'll find some of the most vicious creatures you've ever seen. Here's a baseball to spit, sport. Take aim, shoot at the target, and watch as the terrifying creatures fall into the water below. But don't worry, you won't hurt them. Hmm. So yeah, you can take the baseball and do it, or super flame. It's so nice. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, this, by the way, I did it, is uh, the ease makes fighting the bosses super easy, assuming they let you do it. So the enemies in here actually will rotate, or at least they did in the original. Hey, that was pretty funny, wasn't it? Take this token for being such a good shot. Yay. It's one out of ten. Have another shot if you want, kid. Yeah, but there's no more tokens, I don't think. But yeah, every time you do it, it'll change out who's up there. It's all like the bigger enemies from the games. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, that fucking minecart, man. Uh, I think that's actually what this is Welcome here. Welcome to the Dragon Shores Coaster. Here at the Shores, we don't just ride, though. If you can pop all the balloons on the track, a token is waiting for you. Ready to ride? Watch yes. out for the other coasters out there. It's a crowded track today. Uh, so yeah, like you don't, like you don't shoot in this one. Uh, I think if you pop all of the balloons this time, then it unlocks the cannon and, uh, it makes it harder as well. Uh, oh, this, cause I think you do this one twice, maybe three times, but yeah, you got like the little baby turtles sitting on the track. You got the other coasters on the track and you gotta get all the balloons. Job, dragon. Here's a token for you. And I think you do it more than once. All right. I'll flip this switch, and now you can ride more tracks. See if you can pop the balloons on these tracks too. Okay. Watch out for the other coasters out there. It's a crowded track today. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they haven't given me the gun yet. Uh, so maybe it is three times, because obviously you need ten tokens. And uh, I fucked it up. Uh, but yeah, you need 10 tokens. Oh. I don't remember how to, uh... What the fuck do you switch tracks? I thought it was just... Hold left, wasn't it? Yeah, it is. I don't know why it wasn't switching my tracks then. Um... But you need 10 tokens and there is not 10 different things. There is a couple things where you just, like, do it and you get a token at the end. Like, you don't actually have to do anything. And there's a couple of things that are technically skill-based like this one. Fuck. Watch this is honestly kind of hard. Like, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna lie. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do. Uh, it's also not super hard. I mean, it is like an after-the-fact thing. So, I mean, it makes sense that it's hard, but not too hard, you know? Because, like, I've already finished the game like I beat the final boss of the game so it makes no sense that this is even a little bit difficult um but it's just an added challenge and it doesn't even like he says like oh you can unlock the theater with 10 tokens there's really no, like very little point uh if it's the same as the theater in the original all it does is play the cutscenes over again like Obviously, the cutscenes in the levels will play every time you enter and exit a level. If you exit it through the portal, you get the cutscene. If you just hit exit level, you don't. Um, but uh, it'll play all of the cutscenes throughout the game that are like the hub world cutscenes, basically. You know? Hey, not bad. Here's another hey. Token. That wasn't, yeah, that wasn't There's too bad. There's one more run. You're on a roll. 
This time, you'll need to use the cannon installed on your car to shoot down balloons as well. Are you gonna give it a try? Watch sure. out for the other coasters out there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't remember... Because, <sighs> like, you obviously have the green balloons that you pop, and then you have the red ones that you have to shoot at. I don't remember if any of them are not on these side tracks. Like, I don't know if there's any of them where, like, you can't... Like, if you pass them, you can't get them anymore. Uh, I also don't know if... I want to say that if you... Did I get it? I did. That if you make it to the end and you didn't get all the balloons, as long as you don't die on the way to the end, it just restarts you. You also have two chances for that red balloon right there. Um, it just straight up, like, it just continues on. Like, it doesn't, uh, like, it doesn't stop you and make you talk to the guy again. Damn it. I have to do this track again. Fuck, I gotta jump over all those fucking babies. Um, I think that's what happens anyway. I don't think they make you redo... Well, I mean, obviously, you... Fucking Christ, that one. Uh, obviously, it would make you redo it, because you're back at the beginning. But, like, the fact that you end at the beginning... I think if you fuck it up, you just re like it just continues off like all the same balloons are popped and whatnot. Fucking Christ. It's not easy, like trying to shoot these fucking balloons, man. Like because even like you can just like mash it. Doesn't help. Uh besides the babies, though, like the coasters are will only will only go once. Uh which is nice. So like the other guys coming at you, that's a one-time deal. The fucking turtles on the track, though, are the worst. Get it? Nailed it. Uh, just because they're always there. So it's it's an obstacle that you're constantly having to dodge. I don't know if I got that or not. I did not. So, like, the turtles are super annoying. I don't think the coasters came back in the original, either. Fucking hell. Um, but that I'm not sure of. I have a vague recollection of maybe they come back, but that might be where if you fuck it up and have to go all the way around again, then they'll be back. There it is. Uh, maybe? I don't know. Uh, it's, it's fucking rough, though. The turtles are the worst part, because, like, if you jump too soon, you don't clear them. If you jump too late, obviously you blow up. I mean, that's obvious, because that's twice now. Oh, got that one. That oh, nice. I got them both this time. I don't know if I got the one at the end of the track, though. Like, the one that was way out there. I just kind of fired. Okay, so let's make sure that we jump this fucking turtle this time. Huh. Huh. Okay, got that one. 47, 48, 49. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Wow, you're a natural. You've conquered the coaster. Here's my last token. I also don't know why. I think it's just maybe because it's uh. Wanna ride the coaster just for fun? No. You know, roller coasters aren't for everyone. Come on back again sometime. I like how they made them norks, by the way. Like, these guys are totally norks, and like that's what they uh. Oh yeah, this here's the love boat. Free, free, free! You pay no money down and make no monthly payments. In return, I'll give you one token. One is all I can give, but you can ride as many times as you'd like. Up aboard, my friend! It's the the tunnel of love. And it's just like characters from like the levels that are together. And you go in here all by yourself, which is so sad. But yeah, you got like, there you go. You got the fawn and the satyr. Got the chef and satyr. Wow, okay. Got that. Oh, he's all by himself, Agent Zero. The Professor and the Glimmer Mice. Oh, look at that. The fawns are fucking everywhere. The fawns will fuck anything. Oh, what? Oh, that's not... Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the original, you totally came out with Alora. Like, you went in by yourself, but you came out with Alora. That is fucking bullshit. How many tokens do I have? Five. Really? I must... Maybe you do get more than... Hang on. I'm gonna go back here before I do that one, because that one's actually kind of hard. Dude, can you give me more tokens? Like, do you give me two more tokens or something? 
This is pretty easy, isn't it? Have another one of these. Oh yeah, okay. He must, right? Because I'm pretty sure the last one Have another shot if you want. Pretty sure that the last little challenge here is uh Oh wow, alright. Is also uh three rounds. Oh, a bit. Oh. Yeah. Wow, you really are a great shot. Take this. It's my last token. Yeah. So then the last challenge is also three tokens. I completely forgot. Shot if you want. Yeah. I completely forgot that you got three from that guy. Uh, I was having trouble remembering what the last challenge was as well, so that actually makes sense. Hiya, Spyro. I hear you're a pretty good shot. How'd you like to try my shooting gallery? Okay, I'll set the timer for you. Ducky, ducky, ducky. Yeah, this isn't the hardest. Uh, once again, this is the three things that gets harder as you go. Oh, whoops, too high. And with how fast you can shoot and whatnot, it's really easy. Here's a token. Unfortunately, having the infinite super flame doesn't make this any easier. Okay. I'll set the timer for you. Uh, I'm just hoping that it still works the same way as it used to. Because, like, in the original, like I said, if you go back to gulp, uh, since you have super flame, it damages him as if you hit him with one of, like, the actual items that you're supposed to hit him with. That was super easy. Here's a token. Uh, and then the same with Spyro, you, or not Spyro, with Ripto. You go back to Ripto and the first two rounds are just okay. over. I'll set the uh, but once again, I don't know. Now this one's actually a little bit difficult because these guys, like the big guys didn't seem to go back in. But these guys, I think if you don't get them fast enough. Oh, maybe it wasn't. Right. Okay. Here is my last token. That I could have swore was so like not so much hard, but was much oh, harder. Anytime, Spyro. Although, come to think of it, I remember the cart being harder as well. But yeah, that's all ten tokens. Well, Spyro, it's your lucky day. You managed to win enough tokens to enter the famous Dragon Shores Theater. Go on in and enjoy the show. Yeah, you go in here, and I'm pretty sure all it is is the. Uh, I mean, we'll check it out just to see. Come on, smart. Yeah, all it is is. Yeah, it's just the it's just the story cutscenes. That's all it is. But you now have infinite super flame. Uh, the like I said, it's really uh, it's it's a good power up, right? It's like a good here's here's something for a hundred percent in the game. But at the same time, uh, unless you're going back to do like what I'm about to do here because also if we check the achievements uh we're we're done like the next one sunrise spring boom that's spiral three you can see that they're all spiral three so we've got all the ones in two um which is nice and uh there's there's nothing to go back for like you can go back you can do the orb challenges again you can do stuff like that again uh and all that, but for the most part, it's like, eh, it's not worth it, you know? Like, the Super Flame would help, technically, with certain orb challenges, with certain things like the, like, you could go back into uh, Cloud Temple, no, not Cloud Temple, um, the Mystic, Mystic Marsh, right? Mystic Marsh. Uh, like, you could go back in there to where the spark plugs are. And it's basically good to go back to any of the areas where it's like like those stupid flying kangaroo things, right? And just fuck them up. Because now you have a ranged attack that you can hit anybody with. And it, fuck is, and it fucks them up. So like, you can just be like, haha, I see you over there holding your spark plug. And just, and boop them. And bip them, you know? Just fucking shoot your fire down at him, kick his ass. So if we go to the guidebook, I think I got all the skill points except for gulp. And Ripto, 100%, right? So, what I'm going to do right now is... Oh, fucking hell. Is we're going to go and get our revenge on Gulp. I don't think I'm going to show Ripto. Uh, I might just... like I'll, I'm, We're going to go and kick Gulp's ass and then just end it. Because, like, the Ripto fight isn't going to change all that much. Like I said, the first two rounds are just freebies. But I really just want to show how easy 
uh, the skill points are once you get this power up. Now, obviously, you can do them without the power up. It's very doable. Uh, I just, I tried a little bit after I finished recording with Gulp. Uh, but just gave up because I know that you can do this. So there was, it's like, if you know that this is for a hundred percent it, there's no point in, uh, not stressing, not, it, there's no point in annoying yourself by attempting it. Now, hopefully this still works. It is something that I could very easily see the developers taking out. I hope they didn't. Cause like I said, in the original, this is more or less how I got the achievements. They didn't either. But yeah, you just do this over and over again. And it just fucking rinses them. And it's so nice. Uh, and it's the same with Ripto. Um, uh, you do the same thing. You just boop them. And since you have infinite super flame, I mean, you still might have to dodge one or two of the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, fuck. They actually changed that a little bit. Uh, where when you're in the air, you can't shoot them. Because I do believe uh, in the original, uh, you would shoot him, you'd bip you into the air. When you're in there, you shoot. And then once he's vulnerable again, it automatically hits him. And you can just like, <laughs> you just rinse him even faster than that. Um, but yeah, it's so fucking easy. And that's how you do it. Uh, so I'm going to go get my last skill point here. But I'm not going to bother to show it because like I said, it, you don't get anything for it. You get some art gallery for it and that's it. And it's probably not that different than the one so like i said uh the credits had already rolled but i'll cut them out and put them here uh because i don't want that length of a thing in the middle of my video because nobody's gonna fucking watch it <laughs> like people might look at it and be like whatever but yeah so i'll put that now and thanks everybody for watching and i will see you next week for fucking year of the dragon